What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Justin Falls. We're back at it again with another video. And this one's going to be a little bit more of a laid back kind of news kind of video. Um, as you can see in front of me, IGN made a video about the PlayStation Showcase. And they said it was great for Xbox. And I was thinking about that because I was on Twitter and I saw this tweet. And they posted this right after the Sony conference. So all the games that they showed like majority of the games they showed are going to also appear on Xbox. And I'm going to guarantee you that out of the three, six, nine, twelve 12 games that at least eight of them are going to be on game pass. I feel like all of these will be going to be on game pass, but at least eight, I know Ubisoft going to want their money. So they're probably not going to let Mirage go to game pass. They probably won't let metal Gear solid go to game Pass. but a motors of Avium ghost runner, Alan wake Two, probably dragon's dogma. That'll all go to game pass. So, you know, as much as Sony sold off, as much as I was hyped for it, I gave it a seven rating, but I got to kind of bump that down to like a, a six because it's like your heavy hitters, which I felt was um, Delta and uh, Alan Wake 2 and Mirage, your heavy hitters, they go, they're they going to be on the other console and Dragon Dogma 2 that's going to be on the other console, bro. You know, so the era of exclusives, is about to be over. Hopefully the fanboying and the console war shit, hopefully that dies down too because y'all doing too much. A lot of Sony's PlayStation games are going to um, PC. Like uh, Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet and Clank, A Rift, a rift in Time. A rift, I mean, a rift, a rift Apart is going to be going to PC, as you can see. They have a PC trailer out now. So... You feel me? Like, a lot of the exclusives that you knew and love are now going to be going to PC. So, exclusivity and is really, it's going to be a blurred line. Like, if you have PC, you're winning because, you know, PC, sometimes y'all don't get a lot of the high-profile games. And when y'all do, it don't work. But hopefully, this will be a, a step in the right direction. So, um... Also, Xbox announced the Xbox Showcase. I saw this tweet earlier today. I seen Xbox was trending. Xbox Showcase was trending. So, I wanted to see what that was about. So, I go to the... I, go, I click the link and it leads me here. Xbox Showcase followed by Starfield Direct. Now, that's going to be interesting. I want to see what games they show. I hope they show all new games, none of the games that Sony showed, none of the games from this tweet. We don't need any of these games from the tweet because you already just announced that they're coming to Xbox. So you don't even need to announce any of these. It should be, should be all new bangers. I know the Activision Blizzard deal is kind of funny. It hasn't gone through yet, but y'all have acquired enough studios over the past, let's say, five years to show us some bangers other than Starfield. Starfield is going to be the centerpiece the other gameplay they showed before was kind of, eh, it was kind of shaky. I'm not going to lie. It was kind of, the frame rates was dipping and the graphics didn't look how I thought it would look. Probably because it was through a stream. I usually always say that when I see these streams. I'm like, yo, why do the the the, the resolution look funny? Like even the Miles Morales one, the resolution looked funny. But I was like, you know what? Let me keep in my mind that this is a stream. So when you're streaming something live, it's compressed. There's a lot of compression going on. So... You know, you got to give, that's just technology. That's where we are in 2023, you know. But, yeah, this is going to be June 11th, 10 a.m. Pacific. That's 1 p.m. Eastern for my time. So we're definitely going to be streaming this to see what games they show other than Starfield. Hopefully we get a lot of gameplay and not so much talking. And then same thing with this. Hopefully we get actual gameplay-filled trailers. And I hope they do what they did with the last showcase where they drop a game that day. Because remember they dropped uh Hi-Fi Rush, slept on game, slept on game, that game was awesome, I still play it, it's available on Game Pass, if you haven't played it yet, I still play it, hopefully they drop a game that day, so we can have some more, um, so we can have some more content to make, and some more games to play, so, you know, you can watch it live on Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook, and then they just promoting the merch stuff, I saw this cold ass jacket on here, I ain't gonna lie, this jacket right here is cold. I ain't gonna lie. I might, I might cop that. But it was sold out. It was sold out in my size. So, 
Um, I put, I put myself on the wait list for that. Definitely gonna copy. It was only a hundred dollars. So yeah. Um, so with that being said, we're gonna take a look at this IGN video, and they're going to tell us why the PlayStation Showcase was great for Xbox. So let's get it. Check it out. The PlayStation Showcase had a ton of exciting reveals, but also one glaring flaw that a lot of people have pointed out. There weren't a whole lot of PlayStation exclusive games on display, and that is great news for Xbox. Mm. The general consensus about the PlayStation Showcase... Xbox is petty for that. <laughs> ...in terms of PlayStation exclusives. Having spent time, yet again, showing the Gran Turismo movie trailer... I think this is real. A pair of earbuds and... I, I like the earbuds. You know You know what? I like the earbuds. I'm going to cop the earbuds specifically for my PlayStation. That's kind of cool. I like the earbuds. I'm not going to shit on them for that. That Project Q? No, 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 no. Y'all did wrong on that. First of all, it looks ugly. And second of all, it should be a standalone handheld device because that's the market right now. Like, we don't need, like, a a screen that can mirror our PlayStation. We already have 15 million devices for that. Many of the new PlayStation exclusives, the event left fans underwhelmed. Worse. Hold on. What that tweet said? The event left fans underwhelmed. A total of four PlayStation Studios were present at the showcase. Three out of the four had CGI trailers for live service games with zero gameplay. And the last studio show gameplay for a game that was announced in September of 2021. That's Miles Morales. That's 1.5 years of waiting. What the fuck, Sony? Wow. People shitting on that conference. Well, worse, some of those CGI concepts didn't even do a good job of teasing what you can expect from the full game. Sorry, fair games, but... What is this game? Yeah, this is not it. There's always a lot of hype ahead of the showcase. And while PlayStation usually does a good job of at least attempting to manage those expectations, this seemed a little different. The subhead on the PlayStation blog promised a wealth of new games and new IP are headed to PS5 and PSVR 2. <laughs> and the showcase title edition holds a lot more weight than, say, the usual PlayStation. State of play. play yeah, this game. was... A state of play caliber uh, show, a state of state of play caliber stream, but we were expecting a PlayStation Showcase caliber stream because that was what was in the name. They clearly differentiated what's showcase content and what's state of play content, and this was like somewhere to me it was like somewhere in the middle, somewhere in the middle, but leaning more towards the state of play side. Live streams, and now. What you've all been waiting for. In 2022, <laughs> the PlayStation Showcase was canceled. But in 2021, a hyped-up showcase revealed the Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic remake. A Wolverine teaser. Yeah, I ain't show none of that. Except for that. And God of War Ragnarok. That came out and went crazy, obviously. Were eager, ready, and though there were high hopes for a glimpse of a new Wolverine. Y'all wanted The Last of Us 3. Y'all bugging. Y'all know that the right there's a the, that there wasn't gonna get no Last of Us three. They didn't even put out the mercenaries for the for the Last of Us Part One for PS five. Like they didn't even put that out yet. Y'all want Last of Us three? Y'all was bu y'all was bugging for that. But I did expect Wolverine. I did expect uh, Ghost of Tsushima two, at least a cinematic trailer. I did expect Marvel Spider Man, which they gave us. Um, I did expect Stellar Stellar Blade. You know, I didn't. We didn't get none of that. We didn't get any of that. Or that coveted Bloodborne two announcement. Bloodborne two, maybe, or like a Bloodborne P P P C release. Didn't do it for most fans. Metal Gear Solid Delta, a game some thought would be PlayStation exclusive, has me tremendously excited. You know, it wasn't going to be PlayStation exclusive. Play that on my Xbox or on my PC. Also, I knew that. One unintended result of the PlayStation Showcase was giving the Xbox social team an easy and surprising win. Xbox immediately posted a graphic containing 12 games from the PlayStation Showcase Petty. that would also be available on Damn, the Damn, you got mad platform. tabs open. The reason that's so important is because aside from the first party developed Spider-Man 2, 
Final Fantasy 16, a bought third-party exclusive, mm -hmm. and the PSVR 2 titles, there wasn't a whole lot of concrete first-party games to get hype about as a fan of PlayStation. Instead, Xbox fans were treated with a PlayStation showcase that spoke directly to them about what they can play on their platform in the coming months and years ahead. That leaves room for Xbox to show a lot of shiny new things at a time when even a third Spider-Man game is starting to feel a bit been there, done that to some. This yeah, because I mean, while I am hyped for, you know, Marvel versus Marvel, Marvel Spider-Man 2, um, it's like, all right, we knew that was coming. When, by the like when the game released, when Miles Morales came out, when that Spider Man game came out, we already knew that it was coming. So for y'all to show it again here, even though y'all did give us gameplay and it was fire, like it's like, eh, what else is new? What's new? What's give us new IPs? Like we need new IPs. To have a shot and an easy win during the Xbox showcase that airs on June 11th. If they can and if you're going to show a new, like, and, and, I, and I just thought of something in my head, like, people make the argument, well, well, these companies, they show IPs and people don't like them and say it suck, maybe because it actually does suck, or maybe when it when it comes out, it sucks, or y'all just showing cinematic trailers, like, bro, if you're going to show a new game, I, I feel like you should have shown no new game at all, unless you got gameplay, don't even show it till you got gameplay, even, I would have waited for a Wolverine trailer till they had gameplay. I don't even, like, teasers do nothing for me. Like, I can only speculate. I'm a reactor, so I'm going to react to it, obviously, for the content's sake. But it doesn't, they do nothing for me. I can only speculate. At least the game, if I see gameplay, I can judge it based off what I saw actually was actually going to be in the game. But, yeah, that shit is annoying to me. Capitalize on this opportunity. We already know Bethesda Starfield will have its own dedicated showing but so many other games we know are in the works at Xbox could easily steal places. Yep, yeah, Project there. Dark too. Hellblade too. I mean, Perfect Dark. Sports and Motorsport from Turn Ten and mm -hmm. Starfield from Bethesda mm -hmm. already sounds like a pretty damn good Hellblade Two. Yeah. Ask me. Two of those games are gonna be there. Hellblade Two would just be icing on the cake. And look at me. Love cake. Mm -hmm. Phil Spencer may have even tipped his hat and indicated. That the hotly anticipated avowed could make an appearance. Gotta show a vow. We didn't see that. Good build Since 2020. The kind of funny X -Cast show. I'm very enthusiastic about Showcase. We're going to announce some things that people haven't seen, some new games, and we're going to give updates to some of the things that were on your list. Okay, because Avowed, they showed that like two, three years ago. I'm very enthusiastic about the Showcase. We're going to announce some things that people haven't seen, some new games. And we're going to give updates to some of the things that were on your list. That's what Spencer said about whether we can expect any updates on Avowed, Perfect Dark, Everwild, Fable, State of Decay 3, and Contraband. Forza Motorsport mm. also confirmed that they'll be showing more of their sim. Yeah, that look, this look nuts, yo. Forza Monthly Insane. Up on June 13th. Beautiful looking game. The latest from Turn 10 was supposed to be out already, given the timeline. My fault. It wasn't even in 4K Xbox this whole time. It was in 720. Last conference, it sounds like I could be busting out my sim racing rig very soon. For right. The first time ever, our entire fine ass. Focused on games you can play over I, I can't wait to see her again. <laughs> Historically, PlayStation plays things pretty close to the chest, and in this instance, I believe it's to their detriment. There's no clear picture about what to expect from them beyond 2023, and that's a pretty big problem for fans. We know they have Spider-Man 2, Wolverine, and the Gran Turismo movie on the way. In the pocket, but that yeah. showcase was supposed to be about AAA PlayStation exclusive games and what we can expect from them in the coming years. I don't think anyone walked away feeling overly hyped about their rollout beyond 2023. Inversely, Xbox has so much that has been in development for years, I have to imagine that they've been set up for a massive W here. I already mentioned a few games that we it's know looking of, like that. but even a teaser for a Gear 6 or the In Exile RPG FPS or Indiana Jones would steal that. the show. Heck, even showing a slew 
of third party games that are coming to Xbox Game Pass on day one would be more than enough to make my ears perk up with excitement. Oh, you know they're going to do that. You know they're going to do that for sure. That one tweet from Xbox was already enough to steal the thunder from PlayStation. Mm -hmm. They are teed up to knock it out of the park. The ball's in your court, Xbox. Let's see what you've got. Hey, if you like this op-ed. All right, yeah. So that's yeah. So that was that was the op-ed from from this guy. I forget his name. I don't think he said his name in the beginning, but yeah. Um, I agree, man. Like, I'm not an Xbox fanboy or a PlayStation fanboy. I indulge in gaming, so I don't limit myself to one gaming experience. I have. I'm looking at. I got the Xbox Series X right here. I got the Series S in the room. I got a uh, Nintendo Switch right there. I uh, got a PlayStation 5 right here. Right here behind me is the Steam Deck, and underneath that is the the uh, PSVR. I got the Oculus 2 in there. I ordered the ROG Ally. I have an analog pocket. I have a Logitech G Cloud. I have three, like three Nintendo DSs. I still have my old PSP 3000. I still have a, I have a PSP a modded PSP Vita, like. I don't limit myself to any gaming experience and I don't give blind loyalty to any company. I buy what I like to buy. So, but I can say objectively, like after seeing the showcase and then seeing Xbox make that tweet, like you said, they're set up to knock the shit out the park, man. If they do this right, especially with the Starfield Direct, because people have been skeptical about that game. So I don't know, man. We'll see. We'll see. We shall see. So remember June 11th, that's, what that's what one week that's like two weeks from now two almost yeah two almost two, like two and a half weeks from now that's going to be on a, a sunday june 11th yep um at 10 a.m pacific that's 1 p.m eastern time because i know most of my fan base is on the east some of y'all on the west so that that's pacific that pacific time will apply to you i will be streaming i'll set up the the schedule the schedule stream so y'all could like put the noties on for that so y'all could make sure y'all tune in but um yeah i think that the playstation showcase was kind of mid i changed my opinion i changed my tune from original from what i originally said and xbox has a chance to like you said knock it out the park we will see so y'all let me know what y'all think though y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments you know i like to have these videos where i just rant on gaming news and we could just discuss it in the comments so um you already know the vibes like comment subscribe all that good stuff this is your boy justice falls and we out